Well, this time of the year, spring cleanup coming to your neighborhood, one of these street sweepers, but they are quite a complex machine. We're going to check it out. Well, street sweepers are, are a vital piece of equipment to uh, any municipality. Uh, and this uh, particular sweeper, they run about three hundred thousand uh, dollars so and but they're actually a fairly complex piece of equipment uh, the ones that uh, the sweet sweepers we buy we put them actually through pretty grueling conditions is uh, spring cleanup in Edmonton we're picking up the materials we put down on the street average year 140,000 tons of material goes down and in the spring you can pick up about uh, between two-thirds and 70 percent of that you know so between 65 70 percent of uh, that gets picked up in the sp uh, spring so that's a lot of material to be picked up. To start off as an operator for us on these, of course you've got the right licenses for the job, but we supply you with 40 hours worth of training. They are a complex piece of machinery. There are definitely different characteristics in driving your pickup to work. So 40 hours, we kind of go through all the components, everything to watch for on it, and then the procedures of on-street sweeping. Now the basics of a sweeper, fairly simple. You have uh, two outside brooms, a gutter broom, which actually brings the material and sweeps it underneath the uh, sweeper. And then in the center, there's uh, what's called the main broom, and it's turning, and the idea is it picks it up and puts it onto, and there's various types of conveyors um, that, uh, or elevators that pick it up, and it takes the material up into a big bin, a hopper. And once that's full, of course, you got to empty it. And then there's the parked vehicles. Always a big issue. Uh, we do have positive steer on these sweepers. Uh, we kind of leave it up to driver preference on what side they want to do. If they're doing the right side, majority will sweep from the right side, right? There is, when you're going around vehicles, now you have to be aware, is there anything else coming down the street? You don't want to pull in front of it. So there are a lot of things to look at. What we uh, have on uh, our sweepers, and it's not a requirement everywhere, but uh, the cab itself is actually pressurized so that um, there's no dust able to come into the cap for the operator. That's important, uh, you know, he's not exposed to the, to the dust constantly. Uh, it's, it it's, uh, makes for a good safe work environment. The other thing is uh, on all sweepers you have, we use water as a dust suppressant. So there's spray bars on the sweeper and that goes down onto the material on the ground, uh, keeps the dust down when you're sweeping. I mean, the last thing you want is a huge cloud of uh, dust uh, following the sweeper. Well, there you go, street sweeper. It's quite the machine. And if you want to know when they're coming to your neighborhood, go to edmonton.ca, check out the website. They'll give you that one week window and try to get that car off the street so the guys can get her all cleaned up and then it's on into summer. Brad Walker, Shaw TV. We'll see you next time.